Hello guys and welcome to Zone Texas Daniel and I have some really awesome news to tell you. Connect is now available for Mac. Uh, well, sort of. Uh, it's not really Connect, it's just a software which uh, looks and feels and uh, behaves almost identical to uh, Connect for Xbox 360 and Windows. Now, if you don't know what Connect is, it's basically a device uh, developed by Microsoft which costs about 100 to 200 pounds, uh, sorry, dollars. Uh, it's a really, really awesome device. It's uh, really innovative. <clears throat> Basically, it has a camera, 3D camera, which captures your movement in uh, full 3D. And uh, you can do lots of gestures with it, as you can see from the video I just posted. Now, this is the trailer, uh, which uh, you're watching right now. And yes, the cameras and uh, the Kinect recognize your movement in full 3D, 360 degrees, which is awesome. And of course, that uh, there's an app for that called Flutter for macOS. Here we go. Now, uh, once you've uh, you've uh, opened the app, you get to do this tutorial, which teaches you how to use Flutter for macOS. That was forward, pause, and play. Again, forward. Then backwards are the previous song, picture, video, whatever. And that was basically the tutorial. And using this, you can control iTunes, Spotify, QuickTime, and VLC, which is pretty cool. And more, uh, more uh, programs are being updated as we speak, which is, uh, which is amazing. Okay, so now Flutter is fully activated. Let's uh, test it. And see how it works. Okay, so as I said, you can control multiple apps with uh, this app called Flutter. So uh, first, I'm going to show you a quick time. So I'm going to play a video that I did last week, I think. So pause. Pause. Seems that it's not working. Here we go. Pause. Play. Forward. So this is the Solar Walk app for the iPhone review. Again, pause. Yep, it worked now. Previous pause. Pause again. Yeah, so it's not working all the time, but when it does, it's uh, it's pretty cool. Okay, so to play a song, all you have to do is hold your palm like this. And the song starts playing. To pause the song, all you have to do is do the same gesture again. Now it's paused. Okay, now let's uh, play again. Play. Okay, now let's uh, skip to the next song. All I have to do is do this gesture. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. And that's your birthday. Okay, let's pause it. Go to the next song. Whoops, it not uh, it's not working now. So it's not working all the time. Here we go. And play. Now, unfortunately, you cannot control the volume. To control the volume, you have to do... Uh, you have to control it from hardware. From the computer, you cannot control it with your hand. So you can only play or pause. Play again. Next song. And a previous song. Now it goes uh, to the beginning. So if I do this uh, twice, now it goes to the beginning. Now it should go to the next song. Pause. Next song. Whoops. Next song. Play. Pause. And that was basically it. Again, this app costs uh, nothing. It's free. You can get it from the App Store. But again, you need to have a Mac to use this app. So, thank you guys for watching this video. 
be sure to like it if you liked it. Also, don't forget to uh, share this video so more people can see it. And the most important, be sure to subscribe for more videos in the future. So, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.